Hey everybody, today we're gonna talk about the tremolo system that doesn't exist. <laughs> Now let's get into that for a second. The guitar we're gonna talk about today is of course the Fender and the vibrato system that is used on it. Now referred to originally by Fender as the tremolo system, the tremolo system doesn't exist uh, because this is a vibrato system. In other words, it uses by bending the pitch and not using a tremolo effect that you would find on a pedal or an amplifier. Now, we won't beat up Fender too hard because it is very possible to use this for a lot of reasons. This maybe use this term as a marketing concept or an illustration point. Well, you know, uh, if you're familiar with the wah pedal story, you know, when they made the wah pedal, they paid Clyde McCoy $200 to use his name to explain the wah pedal. Now, Clyde McCoy was not a guitar player, he was a trumpet player, but most famous for using a mute at the end of the trumpet and making the infamous wah, wah, wah sound. That voice was for you guys only. And um, so when they went to music stores and talked to shop owners and couldn't explain what a wah pedal was, they could say, oh, you know, like Clyde McCoy. So maybe using the term tremolo was a way of explaining, maybe they could say, hey, like rabble rouser, right? And uh, Dwayne Eddy, you know, that sound. But anyways, it's important to know that it's not a tremolo system, it's a vibrato system. Even the Bigsby's originally were just called the vibrato systems. The Ibanez style bridges and Floyd Roses and of course the Kaler systems, those are more elaborate vibrato systems, but still the same. Now the interesting part about a vibrato system is that a lot of guitar players um, don't really think it through when they use it. A lot of guitar players feel they don't need to use it and that's absolutely fine. I want you to think of the vibrato system as exactly that, a way to get to notes. Okay, so think of it like turning your guitar fretless. It's what it needs to do. A lot of guitar players will play the vibrato system willy-nilly with no thought put into it. Just a... and There's nothing wrong with that. It sounds really good. That's what's great about this, this, uh, this great mechanism is that it has a very musical sound to it. But I want you to think of it in actual, uh, as a, using a thought process. Let me play the, a pattern. Now, in that pattern, what I'm doing is I'm taking C and I'm just bending to B and back to C and then going to the next note. Now, you could do that if you didn't have a tremolo. You would just be like. The vibrato system has two advantages. One, it, uh, it makes it a lot easier because it's not very easy to move so quickly. To do that lick versus, right? It's a lot easier on the vibrato arm. Plus, you can go faster. Um, but the other thing is, like a fretless bass, um, you can hear the note bend without hearing the hiccup of crossing that fret. So what's interesting is you have two ways you can achieve that same pattern. Right? And you work on that tone. When I use my vibrato arm on my guitar, what I'm trying to hear is I'm trying to hear it go to pitch and come back. Now sometimes there's some magic in those kind of mistakes, right? And that's okay too. Um, but you still be, should be shooting for the actual note, the correct note. It's important to hit the correct note. It'll give a more pleasing sound in the end result. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video today. If you'd like to see me do one on tremolos, go ahead and hit the like button. That lets me know you'd be interested in that video. Also, if you are not a subscriber and you'd like to, go ahead and hit subscribe and it'll let you know when I make a video every single week. Don't forget, I have an Instagram, a Twitter, a Facebook page. Those links all are all down below. If you'd like to become a patron, you can also do that as well. And we also sell t-shirts. All these support the channel and what we do here. As always, thank you so much for your time and know your gear.